A Fort Myers police officer fired for excessive force two years ago, then reinstated. Trevor Lehman is now off the job again. He's accused of violently shoving a man at a Cape Coral bar. But get this, Officer Lehman was named Officer of the Month. NBC 2's Chris Gilmore tracked down the man who says the former officer attacked him. Chris, uh, what did you learn today? That's right, Kelly. We actually uh, reached out to all parties involved in this case today, but we do learn that uh, Trevor Lehman turned in this resignation letter on Monday. This is after we learned from eyewitnesses that he was involved at a bar fight here at Dixie Roadhouse behind me. Not the first time he's been in trouble. <laughs> Officer Trevor Lehman has made headlines before. He's the officer seen here punching a man in the head multiple times during a 2013 arrest. The chief said it was excessive force and fired Lehman. He spoke with NBC2 a year later after an arbitrator overturned the decision and put him back on the force. Very humbling. It's I've grown from it. And it appears he did. A few months later, he was named Fort Myers Police Officer of the Month, according to this picture from their Facebook page. Witnesses say that clean streak ended this weekend. We spoke over the phone with a man who says Lehman picked a fight with him at Dixie Roadhouse on Saturday. I got shoved with such a velocity that I actually caught air and, and, and fell back onto my back. Sassy says he noticed Lehman's girlfriend was upset and asked if she was okay before he was shoved. Cape Coral Police responded to the bar. Police officers are still waiting to get information from witnesses before they complete their investigation, but the victim we spoke to today says it was all caught on surveillance video. It's all on video. You'll see everything on video. Detectives say with the evidence they have, Lehman faces possible battery charges. The the most important thing and in, in probably in, in my mind would be the, the video evidence from the surveillance footage. Lehman resigned on Monday. Sassy says he thinks this is no coincidence. We filed a police report, and then before he gets fired, I'm sure he resigned. The 100% guarantee that the reason why he resigned. I spoke with Layman today, and he tells me that this resignation letter and the incident that occurred over the weekend are not connected. In Cape Coral, Chris Gilmore, NBC2. Tonight, NBC2 is uncovering how to spot scammers.